Welcome to episode 10 of the Scott Allen Creative Log. I am Jason Brewer. This is Jeff Terpstra. Today's topic is carrying on from last episode where we talked about the struggles that nonprofits go through and what do they do with that. So I want to ask you the question, what caused you to discover that research was so important in marketing and the discovery process for a design? Well, this happened about 20 years ago when a close friend of mine, Jim Custel, came to our office and he just dropped a book down on my desk and said, here, here's a gift. And the gift was David Ogilvie's book on advertising. And at that time, we were, we were like a design boutique in a sense that we developed a really beautiful branding for our clients. But we really didn't know what research was all about. And when I read David Ogilvie's book, it was like this light bulb went on. Like he said, before you write a headline, before you design a layout, do your research first. And he talked about know your product or the attributes of that product that would be attractive to the customer. Know your customer, know what the customer is looking for, and know your competition. What are they saying? What are they doing in the marketplace as you're in that competitive environment? And then know the trends that are happening. Well, how does that apply to nonprofits? Well, it really helped us understand that when we are writing copy, when we're uh, producing a video, when we're designing a layout, that we're stewards of, of that mission, and we wanted to make sure that we are holding that stewardship well. But how do we do that? We can't do that until we get to know their nonprofit first. Yeah, and with David Ogilvy, he was an incredible copyright advertiser back in the 30s. Already way back in the 30s. Way back in the 30s, so almost 100 years ago. But he created a, a advertisement for Roy's... Rolls-Royce. There it is. <laughs> Rolls-Royce. And it was an incredible advertisement, but the reason he got to the creative was something that he did was through the research. Yeah, David. I mean, he, he went and talked to the, the designers of the, of the cars, the engineers. Right. And they had designed the Rolls-Royce at that time to be super quiet where you could hear literally the ticking of the clock in the car, and that became the headline. But he learned that insight from the engineer. So what we realized with David Ogilvie is that you, you, when you do comprehensive research, you do not know where a big idea is going to come from. Right. And he even thought of himself not as much of a creative, but just a hard worker. He put the hard work in to do the research, to glean from the customers or the engineers or those who are the experts. And he pulled copy from what they were saying, the interviews that he conducted with these people. And so that he could learn and, and understand the product more so that then he could create great copy and, and produce a great advertisement in the marketing. And so he wasn't so much as a creative, we can focus on the creative aspect but he was just reusing the words that were already spoken by the experts or by the, the customers or those who are stakeholders in the product. Yeah, our job is just to step aside and, and to listen well and to learn and to gain insight. Those big ideas that really should lead the messaging and, and lead the branding, lead the storytelling. Right. Research is incredibly important here at Scott Allen Creative. And so if you want to do more research on us, you can go to our website, scottallencreative.com. If you want to learn more about who we are, good luck. But thanks for joining us today on the Scott Allen Creative Log. Frogs on a log. Frogs on a log. Who else is on a log except for a frog? That's a good segue to uh, welcome to the Creative Log.